The Z1 AI driving instructor now officially supports Assetto Corsa Competizione. So we're going to look at that in this video, uh, show you how it works and how you can save up to multiple seconds per lap in your driving. Uh, as always, the uh, driving instructor does require a track license and it requires the latest version of the software to run. Uh, so make sure that you have a track license and that when you sign up for your track license, you also get the subscription so you can keep up to date and you don't miss uh, any of the amazing features of the instructor when a new version comes out. So let's get to it and see how this works in ACC. So we have an ACC lap loaded here in the Z1 Analyzer. It's at Misano in Italy. Uh, the lap time is a 139.8. Uh, and over here on the left, it says that the uh, goal is a 136.9. So there's a lot of time to be gained. Uh, and that's the whole point of the driving instructor. So how do I get from that 139 to that 136? So uh, when you open the lap, you get the whole circuit, uh, as you see here. And then the driving line goes around it, what you were doing in red. And then the circles here are where you can gain time. So if you have a uh, yellow circle with the exclamation point, you can get you can gain time there. And then the ones which are red are the three turns where you can gain the most time. So if you want to go directly to one of those um, where you can gain the most time immediately, you know which ones they are. So to start with, probably the best thing to do is just click play uh, and the map zooms in and you see the car driving around the track. And uh, you can watch it go the whole lap like this or um, it'll stop on the turns that uh, have advice for them. So in this case, we've stopped on turn number two uh, and it says on the left here that you can gain about half a second in this turn so obviously that's significant and we want to look at it and see well you know how do we do that uh, so it breaks it up into the entry the mid and the exit and if you look at it you can see that we're doing pretty well in the entry we can gain a bit in the middle uh, but most of our time is in the corner exit um, and then on the left here it also says you know the line is pretty good um, the throttle and is good, maybe a bit better on braking. And then in the mid turn, obviously we are going a bit too slow. So that's important because that's going to affect obviously the exit of the turn and just you know, how much speed you can carry. So we're, we can go pretty fast through here, um, eight to 10 miles an hour faster than what we're doing. Um, and then you should work on improving your line on this. So first thing I want to do is I want to see the line for the whole turn and what I'm doing and what could be better. So I'm going to click show line here and the red line is what I'm doing and the blue line is what uh, is the, the optimum line. So obviously I'm starting pretty far to the left and I should be a bit more in the middle and I'm hitting the apex really early and going very wide whereas optimally I should be hitting it more in the middle and staying on this curve a lot longer than I am. So that's one thing I really want to practice the next time I go out, you know, staying on this curb and using a lot of it as I go through this turn. Then I'm also going to look at um, how could uh, the, the throttle usage be better and the braking be better because that was something which was identified. So I'm going to click on show pedals for the corner entry and it zooms into that part. So when you see the corner pedals it shows you your um, where you are on the track here and then what's going on with the brake, the throttle and the speed. So I'm just going to play that again. And so you can see that we're optimally gets off the brakes much sooner than I do. Um, and as a result here, my speed, mine is 53 at this point versus 57. So I'm basically braking way too much for the turn. Um, and you can see why that is because if you go back to the line, the uh, the ideal line is a much sort of gentler arc through or I'm kind of going here and then doing a really hard turn So that's why I have to slow down. So basically if I get this line, right? I'd be like carry more speed and there's half a second in this turn. So that's something I'd want to look at Now when you're done uh, with a particular turn, you can either click play and uh, continue on uh, to where the next turn is Or it's going to stop it for a minute and I can zoom out and move the map around or I can go directly to another turn just by clicking on it. So this turn here was also highlighted as one where I could gain a lot of time. So I'm just going to click on that. And now this becomes the uh, focus here. And it says I could gain about six tenths of a second in this turn. So again, that's significant. If I can gain six tenths in this and half a second in the other turn we looked at, that's a second right there of, of, of my goal. So you can look at all the other uh, turns that you need to on the lap. 
or you can just play it and watch it, uh, watch the car drive around the lab and see, you know, what your placement is, which in itself is very, very useful because, you know, uh, when you're driving, you sometimes think that you're right next to the edge of the track or that you're using a curb or whatever it is, but you're actually not really, um, or you're a bit farther, you know, one way or the other than what you think. So being able to review it like this is very useful. So uh, the analyzer is now compatible with ACC for the driving instructor. Um, it's a great way to increase your lap times pretty fast. Uh, and that's you know, kind of what the whole point of the driving instructor is, is to help you maximize what your possible lap time is as quickly as possible. Because maybe you don't have hours and hours and hours to practice, but you do want to be quick. This is a great way to go out there, uh, find out exactly where in the track you're losing time, and focus on those particular aspects of the track um, the next time you go out in the sim. So this is a quick video to uh, introduce the Z1 Analyzer and Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, we have another video out on the channel which explains in detail all the features of the driving instructor and we definitely recommend that you go out and watch that video. Um, and as mentioned in the beginning of this video, the driving instructor does require an up-to-date track or pro license. So uh, you can get that on the website and update or um, just get the monthly subscription as probably the easiest option. So thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe the video and the channel.